Hi, I'm Lisa Fair, owner of Lisa Fair & Associates at Coldwell Banker West Shell. Today, I'm at the National Voice of America Museum of Broadcasting in Westchester, Ohio. Westchester and its sister community, Liberty Township, are located about halfway between Cincinnati and Dayton, Ohio, and home to more than 4,000 businesses and over 100,000 residents. Since 1990, this area has witnessed more than 25% growth. So what's the story behind this major expansion and why are families and businesses flocking to this area? Joining me today to talk about this is Joe Henson, President and CEO of the Westchester Liberty Chamber Alliance. Joe, thanks for joining us. Lisa, it's a pleasure. Thank you for being here. Thanks. Allowing me the opportunity to be with you today. So business is booming in Westchester and Liberty Township. What's the driving force behind the formation of this Metroplex? Back in 1997, Union Center Boulevard was built. It opened up 3,000 acres for commercial development. And that's where the magic began. Because what happened afterwards, were, and the next 13 years, were additional interchanges that opened up. The regional highway 129 into Hamilton, Liberty Way, and then south of Dayton, Austin Boulevard. In total, over 4,000 uh, acres opened up for commercial development and uh, between Cincinnati and Dayton. This area was prime for opportunity. This had been talked about for years. Mm -hmm. There had not been a new interchange built on I-75 in 25 years. And so there had always been talk about Cincinnati and Dayton 55 miles apart coming together as one. Yeah. But not only important with what we've seen here, but recognizing less than two hour drive, you have Indianapolis, Lexington, mm -hmm. Louisville, and Columbus. Mm -hmm. So it really positioned itself nicely for internal growth and development of bringing the two major markets together, mm -hmm. but externally in our region, bringing major markets to this area also. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, I, you know, convenience and accessibility are very important factors in creating and keeping a very strong traffic flow. So to that point, can you tell us um, what infrastructure has been put into place? Well, uh, Ohio Department of Transportation recognized the additional traffic flow. In fact, when Union Center Boulevard was open in uh, 1997, 26,000 cars were supposed to go over that a year, mm. 30,000 the first year. So what ODOT did was said, you know, we need an additional lane going north and south in I-75. So today we have four lanes from Cincinnati to Dayton. Okay. And so with that said, uh, it was also important, though uh, I-75 goes north and south, that we have east-west access. So those interchanges I mentioned before were strategic to communities that are very similar to Westchester and Liberty and opening up opportunities where we're able to pull from both the east and west of 75 into I-75 into specifically Westchester and Liberty, which are the epicenter for the growth and development of this area between Cincinnati and Dayton. Hmm. Okay. And so besides location and accessibility, what are some other pivotal points that make Liberty Township and Westchester destination locations? Yes. And uh, again, going back to what I said before about the poll that we have more than double a population outreach. You know, we saw uh, Frontgate Outlet, which is a national company, come mm -hmm. here in the late 90s. Mm -hmm. uh, IKEA mm -hmm. came here. Uh, we also see uh, Top Golf, Main Event, Duluth mm -hmm. Trading has come here also. Mm -hmm. You know, where we're at right here, a 600 acres, Voice of America, we have a park here that offers 22 athletic fields and two of them synthetic turf fields for soccer. Mm -hmm. This year alone, 17 uh, different tournaments are going to be here for soccer. Plus, we have Olympic trials here. Uh, across the interstate, we have uh, Liberty Center, which focuses on mixed-use land development. And also, we have Proton Therapy with Children's Hospital. And that brings in patients from all over the world. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned destination location. It's a key area of growth and development for the residents here in Westchester and Liberty and for pulling from Cincinnati and Dayton. But also, you know, I think a key component to more national scope is that 54% of the U.S. population is within a 600-mile radius of this area and 56% of its buying power. You can get to 80% of the population with a two-day drive from this area. Hmm. It's unbelievable. So, yeah. you know, where you want to be where the customer base is. You want to be here because and businesses are seeing that day in and day out. We also see the opportunity with health care that continues to grow and thrive. It's the number one industry today. In fact, it's the most competitive of anywhere in the U.S. right here in our own backyard. 
Joe, I know that you believe that people are the key to every great story, and you've certainly been key to helping small businesses like mine achieve their American dream. So I'd like to thank you for being part of our program today. Thank you, Lisa. It's been a yeah. pleasure. Thanks. The Westchester Liberty Chamber Alliance connects people to possibilities. If you own a business, no matter how big or small, you definitely want to check out the Chamber Alliance. And to learn more about real estate along the I-75 Growth Corridor, visit my website at www.lisafair.com. And now, back to the studio.